Good evening. My name is Judy Akins, and this is my friend Cookie, and we're going to read your devotion this evening. We'll be reading from Bob Goff's book, Living Grace, Walk in Love. Our story today is a familiar one, and we're reading from 1 Samuel 17, 10, and 11. The Philistine said, this day I defy the armies of Israel. Give me a man and let us fight each other. On hearing the Philistines' words, Saul and all the Israelites were dismayed and terrified. Don't you just love the story of David and Goliath? David is the superhero of the little guy. He was a young boy with seven older brothers and he looked after the family sheep. He protected them from wild predators with a slingshot. As a kid, I always thought that was boss. Still do, actually. David's people were at war with the Philistines, and the Philistines were led by a warrior named Goliath. I know you've heard of this guy. He was built like Dwayne the Rock Johnson was as tall as your house, and had the latest battle gear. Every day for more than 40 days, Goliath taunted the Israelites, asking if anyone had the courage to fight him. One day when David came to deliver food to his brothers, he heard the challenge. And you know how the story goes. The battle for our hearts can feel a little like David versus Goliath. It seems like evil stacks the odds against us. Here's why. Evil never plays by the rules. Do I have what it takes? We wonder. But God is with us. Am I strong enough? Remember, we rely on God's strength, not ours. God has already won. Take a breath. There's nothing left to win. Deep down, you probably have some sense of who God made you to be. An artist, a politician, a pastor, a coach, a CEO, a mom, or whatever. Evil's great scheme is that it wants to squash who you were made to be, like Goliath thought he would squash David. Don't give in. Don't give up. Just reach into your pocket. I bet you'll find God has slipped in a few stones for you. What giant is facing you right now? Just think, what giant is facing you right now? Will you pray with me? Dear God, we thank you for the amazing technology that allows us to be together while being apart. Dear Lord, we know that each one of us has giants in our lives, and we ask you to give us the courage, the wisdom, and the strength to overcome those giants. In your precious name we ask, amen.